If you like my video, please click on the like button and for more videos, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. State and explain Kohler's law. Substances that allow the passage of current through them are called conductors and the phenomenon is called electrical conductance. Conductance of a solution depends on the number of ions. It is observed that molar conductance increases upon dilution. This may be due to the increase in the degree of dissociation of the electrolyte or due to decreased ion ion force of attraction because as we dilute the solution distance between ions increases and at infinite dilution there is no attractive or repulsive forces between them. Therefore, Kohler's law states that at infinite dilution when all the interionic effects disappear each ion makes a definite contribution towards the towards the molar conductance of electrolyte irrespective of the nature of the other ions with which it is associated therefore lambda 0 is equals to lambda 0 plus plus lambda 0 minus where lambda 0 is molar conductance at infinite dilution while lambda 0 plus is ionic conductance of the cation and lambda 0 minus is ionic conductance of the anion at infinite dilutions. So what are the applications of Kohler's law? First, to calculate the molar conductance at infinite dilution, lambda 0 of weak electrolyte. For weak electrolyte like acetic acid, Kohler's law can be written as lambda CH3COOH is equal to lambda 0 plus of H plus ions plus lambda 0 minus of CH3COO minus ions. But ionic conductance lambda 0 plus and lambda 0 minus are difficult to find practically. Therefore, it can be converted in molar conductance of their salts as lambda 0 acetic acid is equal to lambda 0 H plus plus lambda 0 minus Cl minus minus lambda 0 minus Cl minus plus lambda 0 acetate ion plus lambda 0 plus sodium minus lambda 0 plus sodium ions. Now, so this becomes lambda 0 HCl minus lambda 0 minus Cl minus plus lambda 0 sodium acetate minus lambda 0 plus of sodium ions. Let's separate it out. So lambda 0 HCl plus lambda 0 sodium acetate minus lambda 0 plus of sodium plus plus lambda 0 minus of Cl minus. This becomes molar conductance of acetic acid is equal to molar conductance of HCl plus molar conductance of sodium acetate minus molar conductance of sodium chloride. Second, to calculate the ionic conductance. Ionic conductance is related to molar conductance by the formula T plus is equals to lambda 0 plus divided by lambda 0 and, and T minus is equals to lambda 0 minus divided by lambda 0 where T plus and T minus are the transport numbers of cations and anions respectively. Third, to calculate the solubility of the sparingly soluble salt. In case of a sparingly soluble salt, the relation is lambda 0 is equals to K divided by 1000 into C where K is the specific conductance and C is the concentration of sparingly soluble salt. Therefore, if we know the concentration of sparingly soluble salt, we can calculate its solubility product.